For me, this is what a forest should look like. Scraggly pines, a bit of bedrock, and lichen and moss carpeting the forest floor. While visiting my sister, we took a hike up an old logging road in northern Manitoba. It didn't take long before we spotted some bald eagles soaring overhead. It's amazing how far the birds can travel without putting much effort in. It's also easy to see why they're seen as having the ability to carry prayers up to the Creator. For us, grounded firmly on the earth, we spotted some giant moose tracks on the gravel road. Overhead, more eagles soared by. I was surprised to see so many in the air, and I thought large numbers like these only happened in places like Alaska. We then pause to listen to, well, I'm pretty sure it's a raven. <laughs> a visual sighting confirmed that there were no monkeys in this forest. I'm trouble balancing. I'm having trouble focusing. At first glance, you might assume this is a golden eagle, but it's not. Juvenile bald eagles take about five years to mature and go through a gradual whitening of the head and tail. The nostril area, or sear, on the beak is dark on this bird, which confirms it is a juvenile bald eagle. We began to see a large number of ravens and eagles flying out from a beaver pond. It was amazing to see them flying so low and hearing their wings working to get them up into the air. This eagle is probably about four years old. You can see a bit of brown on the tip of the tail and on the top of the head.
So, this is where all the eagles seem to be flying out of. Yeah, they all flew out from there. There's a beaver dam down there too. You can see the beaver lodge off to the right. It is everywhere. At the time, we wondered if it was some sort of nursery for young birds. As we continued on, we still saw more eagles. We also saw some beaver tracks along the road. Roads are convenient for humans as well as animals. Oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur beaver. Dinosaur beaver. Further down the road, we found a chain of beaver ponds. This one had a lovely spoon pouring over the side. We spotted some strawberries blooming. Clearings in the forest are good areas to find various wild berries, like strawberries and blueberries. Are they dogs or are they wolves? Pretty big. Relatively fresh compared to the human thing. So I think when you see this, it means that a grouse probably nested under snow, um, and then okay. yeah. that would be where they... Mm. Sure. We nicknamed the grouse poop all brand buds due to its similar appearance to the cereal. Sure. Yo, bear. Yo, yo. The bear tracks encouraged us to make a little more noise as we went. So is this the area that they longed, or...? Uh, no. <laughs> no? Woodcutting stuff. No, it's further. Yeah, maybe another 30 minutes. Some more old brain. Yeah. Yeah, the moss is nice. I feel like you could just lie down. Stepping through the mossy areas has its own troubles. Deep moss covers rough rocks and trees underneath, so you have to be mindful. I also didn't want to dig up the small plants with my boots. I was delighted to spot some ferns growing on the shady floor of the forest, as well as this round mound of reindeer lichen, currently dry and brittle. Finally, we reached the edge of the lake. The view from up here was wonderful. Before we settled down for lunch, we watched a loon out on the lake. Overhead, the moon slowly sailed across the blue sky. I also accidentally recorded lunch. Well, maybe put it back over here. You're making me nervous of your stuff. You probably wouldn't pull up. Just a bit traffic. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know if you want these or not, but these are the cheesecake things we had the other day. Oh! There were more.
I'm a little more afraid of it rolling down the hill. Yeah. <sighs> what was that about? Hmm? Meow. What meow? Meow. What? Meow. stuff it just crunches. Is yeah. It, is it alive? Yeah, it's a lichen. Wow, is that ever hard? Mm -mm. Oh. But yeah, as soon as it rains, they just soften right up. What happens if you step on them? They break. And they die. So it's They'll regrow. They'll regrow? It takes some years. Wow, though, that's amazing. How long do they take to grow? Do you a, think? a while, a long time. A few years, many years. We usually try and not step in them, or we will only step in each other's tracks. So mm. just the green? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, I didn't realize how soft those were, or uh, hard, I should say. I think that's what the caravan liked. Yeah. Yeah, I think they eat these green things, too. Mm -hmm. They put the black things, too. Great. Oh, the black ones are my favorite. Are they? Like Can you eat them? <laughs> Well, I would if you... I'm eating one. Are you? Are they good? No. Yeah, it tastes like a leaf. No, but it's like plant material like a leaf. <laughs> ah. How's it taste? Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't taste like anything. This is the black ones, I like it too. salted. Yeah, salted, Just roasted, add, salt. add some oil, <laughs> <laughs> olive oil, <laughs> and some pepper. I could might have sat on some. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting on poop. <laughs> you were eating poop? No, I'm sitting on poop. Oh. <laughs> you could have been eating poop too. <laughs> it's brand buds. <laughs> I mean, like I see our, I see our prints, but oh wow! I have no idea how long I was recording for. On our trips overseas, we once took a tour into a rural area of Hokkaido to see a flooded pond, much like this one, with some white trees standing in the water. I realize now I could have saved some time and trouble and just come here. Water beetles swam in dizzying patterns on the surface of the pond. We headed further and reached a sandier area. We finally saw the area that had been logged in the past. It seemed tragic how the trees had been cut and left to slowly rot away when the logging stopped. Among the debris, I spotted some more lichens. I didn't eat these ones. On our route home, we saw a ruffed rouse. He was well camouflaged and hard to track in the brush.
This looks like garbage, but it's actually someone's hunting setup. Maybe. This little fish seemed brave in the small amount of water. <laughs> We continued to head back. The changing light and traveling in the opposite direction gave a different perspective. Like earlier, we retreated to spotting more eagles, again in the same area. And, again, the eagles all seem to emerge from the same specific spot of the beaver pond. Our curiosity got the better of us, and my sister and I headed to the pond to find out what held the bird's attention so much. I will warn you, the next clip is a little grisly. For those who want to tune out now, feel free to do so. like somebody's killing deer and leaving them here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's gross. Oh. I shouldn't have inhaled. Now living in the prairies, I should have remembered that there are no white-tailed deer this far north. The carcasses were likely left by a caribou hunter, taking the best parts of the animals for themselves and leaving the rest. Being early June, this is very much out of hunting season. Beyond that, I can't pass judgment. As always, thanks for watching.